Restorative justice is this idea that the community does not need retribution, but instead the community needs peace restored. Uh, also, your soul does not owe or deserve retribution, but instead your soul deserves peace. Peace comes with edification, peace comes with connectedness. Restorative justice is the technology in that way to create peace and to create connectedness. What that looks like in a practical sense is being helped to be accountable. So being punished may stop a behavior for a short period of time, but it certainly won't teach a new, more productive behavior. So in a school, restorative justice looks like decriminalizing things that have unfortunately been criminalized. So typical adolescent mistakes uh, are not worthy or appropriately responded to by punishment. They are not appropriately responded to by exclusion, but instead they're appropriately responded to by helping that young person not duplicate that same area of dysfunction again. So in a school, restorative justice literally looks like restoring what should be, even if what should be never was before. What I would say to a critic of restorative justice, especially a critic whose position is, you know, kids need consequences and without some hard consequence, they won't learn. The truth is my response to that person is bless your heart. And, and I mean that from a place of, I suppose there is some like arrogance to it, but, but the truth is I mean it from a place of, of sadness, of, of pity even, that is a, unfortunate, uninformed, um, and archaic perspective on adolescent development. And if we then superimpose adolescent development with people of color, it's an extraordinarily dangerous perspective. 